from the Gale Literature homepage, I'm now going to conduct a works search by clicking on this button here. For the work search, you need to know the name of the work that you're looking for. This can be the title of a novel, or the title of a short story, or the title of a poem, for example. The example that I'm going to use today is A Rose for Emily, which is written by William Faulkner. And I can hit enter or click on the magnifying glass to get results. You have some additional search limiters here at the bottom if you'd like to get more specific with your search, very similar to the ones that you have for the person search. Once I click the magnifying glass or hit enter, I will see my result, which is listed here, A Rose for Emily, which is a short story written by William Faulkner as he's listed as the author. There are 39 results for this short story. When I click on the link, it will show me those 39 results. Very similar to the person search, you will get a few options at the top. There are 36 articles related to literature criticism for this short story, one biography, six topic and work overviews, and one reviews and news. Because this is a work, it is not surprising that you have less options here at the top. Depending on what you're looking for, you would make your selection. The filters work just the same as the ones that we saw for person search. You can filter your results by subjects, and you'll see here all of the relevant subjects related to this short story. You can select William Faulkner. You can select another novel or another short story that may correlate with this short story, or something more abstract like writers. You can select the person filter where you select a particular individual that is related to the short story. If there is an additional work that might be connected to the short story and you want to see that correlation, you can select it here. Items by author, publication title, document type. So you see here 34 critical essays three work overviews, one article, one biography, one brief article, one column, one excerpt. Whichever ones you may want to focus on, you can click and click apply. Or again, you can search within these results for a specific term by typing in a keyword and clicking submit. It will eliminate anything that doesn't correlate with that key term. Remember that clicking the Full text documents box ensures that what you are getting are all full text articles. And if you are looking specifically for peer reviewed, you can select peer reviewed journals. I'll do that here just to demonstrate that we went from 36 literature criticism articles to only 12 by selecting the peer reviewed journals option. Now, if ever you want to remove one of these filters, you can just click on this X and it will remove the filter that you've applied and take you back to your previous set of results. And very similar to what we saw in person search, you will get the title of the article, the author, the publication, when it was published, how many words, what type of source this is, and two sentences describing the article. Now, when we go into the article by clicking the title link, you will see it looks identical to the person search results articles. You have the same tools with the ability to save to Google Drive, email it to yourself, download, print. Also keep in mind that you have the same tools up here at the top. You still have your highlights and notes feature, which is available to you here as well. And I'll go back 
to my results list and I can always search for a different article or go through my results a little bit more to see if there's anything else that might help me. And that's it for the work search feature of Gale Literature.